Hello, welcome back to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I are super excited about today's video because today we are answering your most asked questions about coffee tables. Every single day we get questions and comments about coffee tables on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Patreon <laughs> with so many questions. Yes, you guys have been <laughs> asking a ton of questions about how to choose the right one, how to decorate it, what size to choose. I mean, just color, everything. So we're gonna talk about all of that today. We're just gonna break it down. I've got our current coffee table here, but we're also gonna give you a couple different looks so that we can show you how the room looks different based off of what kind of coffee table you use. I hope it's gonna be really fun and that you'll absolutely love it. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe and let's jump into today's video. I know, gonna I be am fun. ready to go. I'm so excited <laughs> about this. So let's start off with the coffee table that we currently have in our living room, which is this beautiful uh, marble table. We've had this one now for a couple years, actually. A couple of years, yes, lasted a long time. One of the biggest questions that we get is, first of all, what table is that? Uh, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below for you, so no worries, I'm gonna link up all the tables and the items on them throughout the video. But this one is from West Elm, and I chose this one originally because I liked the fact that it had the white marble on top. I thought that looked a lot more elevated oh, and yeah. chic. And I don't even know if at the time we had the white sofas. I don't remember what we had at the time. I think it went with the black leather back then. I think so. That was a long time it ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah. And I had one, and then when we started to put the room together, I was like, I really want a bigger, coffee table. So a little hack was I just bought a second one because- I thought that was ingenious. I came home and there was another one here. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Did the other one break? And then you put them side by side. It was like, yeah. wow. Yeah, and so we were able to double the size of it because upsizing the coffee table does make the room feel a lot bigger. It really fills the space out. It allowed us to kind of separate these sofas away from each other. And uh, this way we could, really fill out the room. So sometimes you're gonna have the space for that, sometimes you're not. We've also got the sunroom also oh, styled yeah. up with the smaller coffee tables because in that room there's no way I could use this trick. So you have to measure out your space and see if it could fit. But we were eyeing up the really expensive, <laughs> humongous coffee tables they sell at Restoration Hardware and oh, I was gosh. like, that, that's a chunk of change. And at the so, time we definitely didn't want to spend the money on and it. And as a chunk of square footage, like, it is a, those are big tables, they're gorgeous. Yeah, but, and one of my other complaints about those tables is that they're also really low to the ground. <laughs> and I have this weird thing where I don't wanna feel like I could step on my table. That is a really, they, like, those feel like a platform, like a stage. Yeah, like you literally just feel like it's like, it's like 12 inches off the floor and you feel like you could literally just like step on it. Like if I was a kid, I would've done a concert on that. Yeah, I think, like, seriously. I probably would've too. <laughs> <laughs> so I do think that size, does matter. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Sometimes going bigger really is better. I know, you're gonna love that. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Sometimes it's not possible, but measuring out your space, seeing what you've got really does help. But the reason that I kept this coffee table in here over all the other options I could have replaced it with was because I liked the fact that the white marble does look upgraded yeah. and it's really soothing when you put pair that together with the white sofas. Now. When it comes to soothing, I kind of stop there because I really want to like jazz it up and give it a little bit of drama. It is the center of the room. So what I've done is I, maybe you want to bring them in closer. Yeah, let's get them closer. Them closer. Yeah. Okay, let's bring you in. <laughs> I'll stay back here for this part to make sure you're in it. How about that? Okay, that would be good. Okay, so when it comes down to actually choosing what goes on the table, I will say too, that I did buy black metal on this table. It does come in brass, which I think is also really beautiful. I think that you need to think through the material that's also the metals that are represented in your room if you're thinking about a coffee table with metals. For me, I went with the dark bronze that also brings out the black in the space because I do love that. But that is another thing to consider. And as you can tell, I have a lot of black on the coffee table and what i've done is i've started out with some bigger pieces because a lot of times we just think too small when it comes to the decor that we put on the table so i've gone really big here with the big tray i found this one on amazon i actually found most of the stuff is actually available on amazon um, again i'm gonna leave links for you guys but a big tray like this really just helps fill out this entire space rather than going with something really small 
okay? Then I built it up by using the Eight Homes book. If you don't own that book, you just need to because it's absolutely gorgeous and full of inspo. Uh, but it also works really well as a little bit of a riser to help me create layers. So when I'm putting the overall feeling together, I am definitely thinking about having a large base here on it, but I'm also thinking about the height of the objects that are sitting on here. So I've got the greenery up here that's creating these different levels that really just give the eye something really interesting to look at. And your eye methodically and just naturally just segues from like the way you read. It'll just go back and forth. And so creating, you don't have to be like super anal about this. <laughs> I was like, am I allowed to say that word? Yes. <laughs> That's on the approved list. You don't have to be super anal about everything being like an exact like height here. You're just wanting to vary the sizes and the shapes. So the other thing, now that I said shapes, I brought in something square first, and then I brought in something round through that big, I was about to say another word <laughs> that's not on the approved list. <laughs> it's a very big <clears throat> uh, candle there. <laughs> it's huge, it's cylindrical, and it really just adds a little bit of movement on here. I'm doing the exact same thing when I bought, brought in this big wood bowl, and the same exact thing when I've brought in these two cylindrical vases. Um, <laughs> this is literally in my hair. It's like in your hair. <laughs> I'll just move it just a little bit. I'm like, my hair is suddenly itchy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got square here, we've got square with the book, we've got square with the other book, we've got round, we've got round, we've got this movement around the table, right? And then I've done movement one more time with the shapes by bringing in this little chain. Again, just an inexpensive little Amazon find. Uh, love the distressing on this one, it's so cool. But what I'll do is I just sort of drape these a lot of times from one side down to the next because it, again, creates this sort of movement. And it's made of different shapes. So varying the shapes, varying the sizes, and then also varying the color of the objects on the table will also add interest. So at the moment, you can see, <laughs> clearly, I like to have a lot of black. It's just what I like. You could do the same thing if you liked all cream colors. You could do the same thing if you liked all brown, right? I think not having too many colors on the table would definitely be, that's something that I like to do. I just find it more soothing to the eye to not have a million colors sitting on the table. But if you love a lot of color, you could go for a bunch of color too. But what I've done is I've brought in this sort of creamy, sort of beige -ish color, and what that does is it really softens the black. Now, I've brought it in through the book, I've brought it in through the chain, and then I've also brought it in through the picture on the book that is open. Um, this is an amazing Dior book, and I absolutely adore it. It's got lots of beautiful pictures in it. Here I've got it open to the page that literally brings in that beige color and it really creates this gorgeous cohesive feeling into the entire look. And so your eye is comfortably moving around shapes and sizes and heights and color and we've dispersed all of those throughout this table. So. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the questions we get a lot is yes. with the book being open, do you, people ask us all the time, do yeah. you change the pages? I do. Like, um, sometimes I'll have it open, probably not to the blue dress, but like, um, here's another example. I'll just open it to another one. Some of the books have more, um, like architectural details in them. So what I'll do is I'll just flip through the pages and look for one that I really like. Here's another one. Oh, there's Louie shaking off somewhere. <laughs> And yeah, so I change them, and sometimes I like it because it's got a nice quote. Uh, it is one of the greatest secrets of haute couture that a well-cut dress is the, is the dress which contains the least cuts. So I just think it's kind of fun to have that open to a new page. But yeah, I'll flip something new and just really been enjoying the color palette, which is why I've left this actually for a few weeks. Um, one more question I know we get a lot, yeah. which is, okay, it's a coffee table. What do you do when you want to drink coffee on it? I just put my coffee on it. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually like a ring. I can see there's like a ring here. We aren't super precious with this stuff because I mean, there's kids in the house and stuff and us. And so, yeah, I mean. Well, and it's really easy. I see you do this all the time. You'll just fold up the book really fast. Yeah, if we're gonna be entertaining. See, if I'm just gonna set my coffee down, I'm gonna set my coffee down. Yeah. But 
We also like to entertain here. Yeah, we do. So the kids will come in and, and oh, our favorite thing to do is to have a Japanese style dinner. Yes. And we'll clear the table and we'll literally just like have sushi or something like sitting at the coffee table and just sitting by the fire. So yeah. Those are great. And I love those sushi nights together. They're so much fun. I know. They the are. kids all, we all love them. Yeah. So another question we get asked a lot, which is how do you know which way to turn the table? That's actually really good. Because I question. wouldn't know if it wasn't for you in my life. Yeah. Because actually I think originally you had it turned the other way. I think I did. Yeah. I'm trying to think of how or why when you did that, it just didn't feel right. Because I think it's about the way that it plays off of the other pieces. That's true because you have the sofas already going. The sofas are linear yeah. going down this way. And we tried, we actually tried originally just putting two up against each other. Yeah, like, like long. long end. And that was weird because it was really long and really skinny. <laughs> it was very strange. <laughs> that was weird. And then he had them turned the other way and I was like, I just can't put my finger on it. Why? It just doesn't look right. It just doesn't. Like it's the shapes. Maybe because everything was moving right. the same direction then, so it just felt to, yeah. I don't know, something, but. It just felt like everything was lined up too much. Yeah. And by turning it, it broke it up a little bit. The other thing that I've done is that I've put the ottomans back here that really kind of soften this, because normally the chairs are here when we're trying to film. Uh, but it, I kind of closed in the coffee table conversation area as well. And so those ottomans, again, kind of add in a little bit of these softer colors, kind of finish it off. So it gave me the length Right, I'm adding length to the space without having to add another table in here. And it's just an, an easy way, like you could add circular ottomans at the end. Uh, you could go for ones like these that are rectangular. It's just a nice way of kind of not making, not making the coffee table stranded in an, like an island in the middle with nothing else around it. So I'll usually finish that look off with ottomans or chairs or whatever it is because that way it just feels cohesive. Yeah, I like that a yeah. lot. All right, so another question people have a lot, which yes. is for something like this where it is a lar larger table, where do you find something that's more affordable? Because these can get pricey if they you go can. to like RH and places like that. For sure. So I definitely think that West Elm is a really good place if you're wanting to find something that has the quality still, but the price is a little bit lower. Then our next option is actually, actually our next two options are from Amazon. Oh, that's true, yeah. So why don't we pull these out and we'll pull those in and then we can have a conversation about those and I'll show you how we find stylish yet affordable coffee tables. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. All right, so you guys asked for affordable yet stylish coffee tables and man have I delivered. I mean, how pretty are these? I've actually ordered these tables a few times for my clients or recommended them to clients and then seen them in their homes. So I've also got another set that I used in my sisters that have glass that are really pretty. We did glass for her, didn't we? Yeah, we did do glass. So I will leave links for a few of the ones that I've definitely ordered off of Amazon that I know that I've checked and are much higher quality. So I would definitely put these in my own home without hesitation. I like these because you can order them in the black. You can also order them in the white. So we were talking about how the top of the table and the legs play off of the sofas. And here's a perfect example of what happens when you change the top of this table, the way it changes the, the whole entire feeling of the room. I kind of love that. Are I you? love this. And I actually, yeah. I really love this set. I know I can see the look on your face. Here, put your head around and show them your eyeballs. This is a, uh Oh, I like this. <laughs> like, I really like this a lot. <laughs> yeah. I know you. Cause you're just like, Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> These are really fun because a round table really can add a lot of movement. You can use round tables even with squared off more linear sofas. I use them the most when I have a sectional because I really just, for me, my mind's eye just loves a sectional that's really structured with this round like shape in the middle. I just like the flow that it adds. I just like the way that it feels. You can still do a rectangular table with a sectional for sure. This is just for me how I like it. I just think it looks really good and it feels nice. You always do that juxtaposition. You're I kind do. of like the queen of that. You'll take a, a, a lot of square shapes or rectangles and you'll add something different. Well, 
on the last one, we had lots of rectangles and lots of round shapes on top on of top it. On top of it, yeah. But what I've done is I filled this out with the rectangular tray. This one is gorgeous. It's made with chagrin and that material just really is so striking against the black top like that. It also can be very soothing if you have a light top. So again, right? Like it's all about what you have and how you either want to add drama or you want to be more soothing. What do you want the eye to feel when it sees this? I've gone for this little vase that has a little bit of a geometric pattern in it. Let me get up close so you guys can see it. That thing it's, is awesome. Yeah, I got this off Amazon too. And the greenery, I'm telling you, I'm hooking you guys up with affordable options here today. This is just so nice because it has a different shape. So even though I don't have a ton of rectangular shapes on the circle here, I think it can be a bit odd to put too many rectangle shapes on a round table, especially when they're a little bit smaller. So instead what I've done is I've added one to add a little bit of structure to it. And then I've thrown the balance off just a little bit with this geometric base. Then I've got the little chains that have this sort of diamond shape in them. These are ones I bought from Target a little while ago. Again, I'm gonna link it all up, don't worry. It'll all be down below. I'll just link up each of the looks. I'll have them over in LTK as well. Knowing Jack, he'll wanna add them to the blog. But you can see how we're varying the shapes even on the round table. And then of course, we've got this candle. If you want one that just smells amazing, yeah, Moroccan amber, mm, smells so good. But it also adds a little bit of color onto the table by adding in that brown. The reason that I have this set up is because actually on one of our Amazon lives that we just did, we showed a room that we were making over and the room had brown accents in it. So if I was gonna keep the table like this, I would probably add in some brown cushions and maybe a couple more brown accents around the room. I'll put up the mood board that we did for one of you guys. You guys submitted your rooms through the Dear V uh, option over on House of Valentina and lo and behold, there we go. We've got a room I, makeover. <laughs> yeah, and what I loved about that design is they didn't even, she didn't even have, she had curved sofas. She did. And that's what you put in the design as well. And yes. it's played with that so well. Yeah, so the round is also nice with curved sofas. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I think it's really nice. The other thing that I did is that I didn't want to create too much visual in the ways for this bottom part of the table here. So the only thing I've added down at the bottom is a very heavy yet gorgeous ruffled bowl. I mean, guys, these are my favorite. I have so many of them now and I love them, but I didn't put something black down here because I didn't want there to be too much visual noise. So we found these on Amazon as well. I have to tell you, they're not super heavy. That's kind of the trade-off when you're gonna find something this inexpensive. I'll leave a link for something similar if you wanna spend a little bit more and get something a little heavier weight, but the visual of these is amazing. So in this room, we, with the sectional, I like it with the little rectangular one that we have. I think it's from Menu, I think. I'll leave a link for it. You guys have seen us show that table a bunch of times. We've also styled it up with a black rectangular table. I like that look too. And then we brought this one in today and it's just these two level little square ones and I just like these as well. So I think you can have a lot of fun with the sectional and really play around with the shapes. You can see here how this brown color has really changed the way that the room feels. And it's perfect because I've got a lot of these caramelly brown colors in the space at the moment. So in order to really be soothing to the eye, I've brought in this glass ribbed smoky vase, um, another Amazon find with some little, these just have some little branches from Amazon in them. And I've brought something, this little fluting on it really reflects back the, flu the fluting that's on these tables. And then you can see what I'm doing again. I'm building out levels here for the eye. So even though there's not levels left to right, they're still somewhat trying to build levels from you know one side to the next and building your eye down kind of in levels. I just said that like 90 times. <laughs> How else would you say a level? I don't know. It's gonna be a drinking game, guys. Every time she a, says level. A different latitude here. <laughs> different heights, do, maybe, different, or it's no? It's not just different heights, though. It's also like zigzagging yeah, as that's true. well, right? And then I've mixed the shapes. You've got the cylindrical shape here to balance out how these are very square. You've got the jack that really just kind of throws off the look here. It's just a completely different shape. Then down here at the bottom, I could have put a bigger 
book down here. I just really like this one. It's called Still the Slow Home. If you don't have this one, you need this one as well. I mean, just the book recommendations, you know, that what is sitting on the table. Oh, you could take this one and leave this open here down at the bottom like that. That would be beautiful too. Yeah, that's really pretty. That is really pretty. Yeah, really nice. So that's another option. That's what's so fun about your coffee table is that you really can use your books in lots of different ways. You can kind of move things around and keep it interesting. But for today, I wanted to add in, again, the fluting, not to be too obvious, but I do think that the fluted bowl just adds a really nice shape in here. And it's white. Those are all purposeful things to bring in some whites and some browns. And as far as metals, I do think that these silver tones really just feel like a white in a space a lot of times. So they real, read really neutral. Uh, so really I have white and brown here present, if that makes any sense. But either way, I do think that having in the little um, book like this and adding a little bit of height, it just all kind of works really nicely together. So there you go, one more option. I know, I love that. And we have a, that is a question we get quite a bit, which is if someone really likes wood, how do they do a wood coffee table that doesn't feel really traditional? Yeah, well, this is a great example, isn't it? Phenomenal. Yeah. These are gorgeous. I also think that you could do the round ones. I love them when they're round. And you could look at different wood tones as well. This one comes in a light brown. Uh, I knew I was looking for a dark brown to bring dark brown into the room for this fall season. But the light brown is also really beautiful. Yeah. You could do the ones that are rounded with the um, fluting on them. I love, there's a couple coffee tables from our house. They do this like piece together wood look that's just beautiful. And it's like literally just like slices of wood. All right, well, I know today's video was a little bit more practical than that was fun, some though. of the other ones, but I hope it was fun. I've been married to you for 25 years and I learned things today. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally, like, I love this. I'm literally learning things as we do it. You're, oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting to do this with you. I know, sure. it's a lot of fun. And yeah. it's fun getting to answer people's questions and like help people with their rooms like this. Yes, so if you have more questions, you can um, go over to our dear V over on House of Valentina and fill out the form. You can submit your rooms if you'd like your rooms to be um, to be used for makeovers and you know upcoming videos like this. We'd love to use more of you guys in those as examples. That way, we can start fleshing this out a little bit more even for you and give you really practical tips and tricks. But let us know if there's anything that surprised you today, if we left you with more questions than answers. <laughs> yeah, because we can always do a follow-up. We can always do another one and Definitely. just have fun with this. Definitely. And then we'll probably, knowing us, we'll bring in a different table for that. Knowing us, we will. We did have one other table in here and it will be making a comeback for the fall decor and that oh, is yeah. the wood one. So that's another look, another material. So stay yeah, tuned for fun. sure. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.